I'm always in new restaurants. I'm always sampling new menu items. I'm always going to uh, new um, developments uh, to see what they're doing uh, from a retail standpoint, to see what the restaurants look like, to see what the uh, decor, the design, to see how they've approached the, uh, the planning. And I can tell you with, um, with certainty that what really sells today is the experience. And it's been like this for a while, but people are paying for experiences. They're um, looking at products and services, but they're also looking at the experience attached to those products and services. How else do you explain um, the prices in some stores? How else do you explain the, the, um, the, the basic offerings that are sometimes presented in spectacular ways and then another price, a higher price tag is attached to it. This is something to understand no matter what level you're, you're at in your business. No matter what level you are performing at, you can add an element of experience, an interesting experience to the mix. And this relates a lot to a video that I did recently about fantasy and how important fantasy is in every relationship. You know, the, the experience that you create uh, in your business, whether the, the person is going online, whether they're calling up your office, whether you're visiting them in person, or whether they're going to a brick and mortar location, is something that will um, attract people to you. It'll keep people with you. And it's what you can also use to charge a premium for your offerings. How, do the per, how does the person feel when they interact with you? What detail did you spot in the interaction that you could address? How did you make the person's spouse feel or the person's partner feel? You know, what is the idea of uh, you go to a restaurant and they come out and they sing happy birthday to everyone? Why are they doing that to create that kind of experience? What are uh, reservations about to ensure that you get the right table and you can have the right experience? It's all about understanding how you can orchestrate the moment for a client and how when they come into your world, they're in your world. They're in a world that is unique and interesting and fun and exciting and that's worth what you're charging for it because in the end they're going to forget about the meal they're even going to forget about all the things that that took place in that vacation but what they're going to remember are those unique moments those unique experiences that made it all worthwhile you know remember we took that hike and then we saw that thing remember we found that restaurant out of the way Remember that drink that they, they gave us that had pomegranate in it and this and that and the other? Remember that view we had of the beach from the suite? Remember how uh, the, uh, um, the, the person decided that they would do something for us even though the kitchen was closed? All of those elements are elements that people will pay a premium for. And you can build those into your business. Now, even if you are selling, you can build that into the process. Look at the way they presented the proposal. Look at the way they followed up. Look at the way how warm this person was. Hey, he invited me to something uh, that I wanted to take advantage of. They dropped this in the mail for me. Look at he connected me with this other company. I wanted to connect with them. You see, all of these things are valuable resources that you can leverage to create experience. Now, the great thing about experience is it's, it's all about human interaction. Yes, you can have fireworks. You can do that. Yes, you can have music and you can do all these other things to create a great experience. But often it's about human interaction. 
and it's about making sure that the human interaction is great at the right moment. It's bearing down on that and understanding that that is one way you can differentiate your business and you can make the, the process of interacting with you not like a chore, but like a pleasure. Think about how you can raise the level of experience, how you can improve the experience, how you can give people something to talk about, to think about, something to remember. This is an experience economy. I see restaurants that are charging incredible amounts for entrees, incredible amounts for drinks, but they're able to do that because they have created an atmosphere, an experience that makes the person feel, oh yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's have another one. Yeah, let's have this experience. And it's your birthday, why not? That's what you want your client saying. Hey, I'm out. I'm in New York City. Why not? Hey, I'm in Hollywood. Why not? Hey, I'm in Chicago. Why not? Hey, I'm in Miami Beach. Why not? Hey, I'm in Vegas. Why not? Think about how you can create that kind of dialogue in the minds of your clients, and you'll understand what the experience economy is all about. If you like this tip, Give me a thumbs up. Let me know you liked it. Share it with someone in your network. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more here and a lot more coming. And I'll see you next time.